As we all are very well aware, this new coronavirus, COVID-19, is causing a, a global health crisis. And whilst most patients will get a mild illness, there's a significant number that will end up in hospital. And the key question we all are asking is how do we best treat these patients, make sure that they recover quickly, and we reduce the number of deaths as best we can. Now, there are a number of drugs that are being suggested to be used in these patients, but we really don't know if they're effective or not. There are some people that would argue, well, let's just give them anyway. But then we really don't know if we're giving the best care and we need to get the evidence so that we can move forward with confidence. The best way to do that is in a clinical trial in which we will evaluate properly whether these drugs are effective or not and then we can give the right guidance to patients and their doctors. COVID-19 is going to put an enormous stress on everyone. So what we need to do is to make sure that the trial is as simple as possible. We've got a number of objectives. The first, obviously, is to gather the best available evidence that we can in the quickest possible time. The second is to protect patients. And the third is to make sure that we protect the health service so that we don't overburden the doctors and the nurses and the other healthcare staff with too much administration. So it's a very simple trial. We want every patient that comes into the NHS to be given the opportunity to enter the trial. And if they are, they will be um, allocated to one of uh, a number of options. One is just the good normal standard care. The other options are the good standard care plus the new therapeutic options. Um, and that way we will be able to find out whether the drugs are having any effect. So we're keeping the trial to be as flexible as possible. At the moment we have a number of drugs that have been recommended for evaluation by expert committees and they're the ones that we are prioritising. But new evidence will emerge over the coming weeks and months and also perhaps even new drugs. So we have the option to add these new drugs into the trial when they become available so we can evaluate and test those as well.